Uh, this is another video on the HT18 turbojet engine. Um, I've done a few little modifications since the last video, such as this um, extension piece in here, uh, which basically just keeps the turbo cooler. I've added the water cooling system, um, and just sort of fine tuned the, the fuel system and the um, oil system, so I've hard piped it all, and I uh, also done a few little repairs around here and there, there's a few leaks in the welding um, yeah so I'll start it up for you um, just as a quick thing if you want to build one of these uh, I've had a few people asking what tools you need well this is my workshop which is pretty basic but I've still got you know MIG welder, air compressor, angle grinder, cutoff saw um, yeah so all that basic stuff you need and yeah if you've got like CNC cutters all that type of shit, then that's a bonus, but um, yeah, alright, I'll start up for you. Pause. And there you go. Um, yeah, so as you can see from the last video, it's certainly throttling a lot better. Um, 
and it stays uh, cool all the way through the throttle range. Like before when you um, go from low throttle to uh, high throttle, uh, it would heat right up because of the excess um, gas going through the turbine, but um, yeah, no, it's not doing that anymore. So yeah, and it's got a bit more power. It's putting out about some kPa, so it's about 100 kPa. No, sorry, um, 75 kPa. So yeah, and the water cooling keeps the, the whole turbine or the bearing section fairly touchable, which you wouldn't normally even dare to do, so that's good. Um, yeah, so if any of you guys want to build one yourself, I'll be happy to help you out. Um, yeah, just leave me a message. See you later.